Hello guys and welcome to Kalen's Ticket Wonder Workshop where I will be explaining everything from 0 to 100 of Ticket. Well, when I say 0 to 100 I mean pretty much everything. So, I'm going to step right in. And come over to the back here. As you can see, i got a bit set up here already. Um, so, uh, let's start off then. And we're back. And as you can see here, I have some uh, coal in my inventory now. And uh, coal is a vanilla resource, as you'll obviously know if you're playing Tekkit. Uh, and it's a resource you'll find in the ground, obviously. And it's a filthy way of making energy. It's bad for the environment. Well, the hypothetical environment, anyway. It's just not good, generally, because it's, uh, it's good to start off with, but apart from that, you don't want to be using it later on. Okay, so we're, at the moment, see, we're generating, we're generating energy in our generator here. You don't, know, you don't need to worry about these two at the moment. You can probably tell at the end on this, though. This one here is a generator, which generates electricity, as the title may suggest, using coal. Like a coal-like power station. As you can see, one coal fills up this bar. This bar would usually be drained if it was connected to the machines, such as these. These are a selection of machines from Industrial Craft 2. These machines can be wired up using the wires at the end here, which will have a different transfer rate. This, this generator makes energy around 32 EU. EU is the general energy unit for the Industrial Craft 2 engine. This generator will try to force out through wires a, a packet, which is like one cluster of EU. These are just virtual. You won't ever see these. These are like clusters of energy that will transfer from machine to machine. And as this travels through, it can do a certain amount of EU per second, or per tick, as the game works, which 20 ticks is about one second. And this here is about, I couldn't tell you know, exactly, but something like, I don't know, 1000 EU. But obviously, in transfer, EU was lost. Over here, you can see different wires that are coming in the game, going from about the cheapest to the most expensive at the end here, glass fiber cables. And here, you can see that red, I've marked it up over a five block distance how much EU we lost during transfer. Here, you can see one EU per tick is red. So this isn't really very good. You don't want to be using this. This is good for maybe like one distance. So, so like, say you've got a machine. Let's uh, show you this. So you've got a, a generator. Uh, where's the generator gone? So you've got a generator here. And you've got, um, let's say, a macerator. You might know what some of these machines do if you're uh, familiar with it, but you just want to get more to know with it. Um, and then you take... Uh, your, the first one, which is a tin, tin copper cable, if I'm correct. Uh, tin, no, not a tin copper cable. Let's just type in cable and see what we can find. It is an ultra low current cable, but it's made using tin, which is why I'm getting confused. Sorry. Let's come off that. And as you can see, it's only really used if you want to do one on not much more than that. The next one here, as you can see, over the first three blocks it can do 10 EU per tick and then after that you gain less and less and this is copper, you're not going to want to use this for much. This next one, gold, you might be thinking, gold, that's going to be good isn't it? Yeah, it is for the first block where you can do 100 plus EU per tick for the first block, which is like one block distance. After that you're getting down to 10 and then 1. And that's just not what you want. This here is high voltage. High voltage cable comes in massive bundles, and as you can see, it's thicker than the other ones. This doesn't make any have any properties apart from, as you can see, it can do about 100 plus for a five block radius and about up to 20. This glass fiber cable is made using diamonds. Diamonds are rare, even in Tekkit, you're still going to find them rare for the first hmm, a good few times you play the game. So as you can see, these go for about maybe 52 blocks before losing major energy. So you'd be losing energy, but not as fast as you would be with uh, your thin or ultra-low copper cables. Okay, so say you wanted to send, you had like a big 
storage of energy somewhere, and you wanted to send it 120 blocks somewhere else. That's quite far for Intekit, as everything's quite close, and you're, you're going to keep your machines close to yourself. Now, this first one here, it's going to have a 40% energy tra loss in, during transfer. You might think, mm, that's not that bad, actually. But the thing is, that... Well, oh, sorry, 40% will be carried there, though. So say you had 160 will be... Six, no, 40 will be carried there. 40 EU will be carried to the other place. And you're thinking, oh, no, that's not too bad. thing is, that will be carried in one EU, because this can hold, only hold one EU per tick. And see, that's not very good. Because, like, that's going to be like... Blip, 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 blip. And that's just not what you want. This second one here, yeah, it's going to be... A bit better, you think it'd be a bit better, but after this point, it just pretty much goes to dead slow, and any further than this, you're going to be transferring zero per tick, and it's just going to be less, it's not going to be worth it, as this has a 25% chance of getting through 120 blocks. Onto the gold, yeah, it's quite good because of the, after here, yeah, you're still going to be transferring one for a while, which makes it have a 62.5% chance over 120 blocks. Now this here, it's kind of cheap. And it can, all these wires can be wired up to each other, by the way, so no need if you like have like intervals of different wires, that's great still. But this wire here, it's quite expensive, not really expensive as you would think. It has a 95% chance of getting through, which is quite high, and it's still not that expensive. But this last one here, it has a 99.414% chance of getting through, if my calculations are correct. It sounded really nerdy. Oh god. Um... But that is pretty good, if you know your stuff. You don't have to, 99.414. Yeah. Okay, as you can see here, I have three different blocks lined up here. You may have seen a few of these before. This first one here is a bat box. This is your basic storage device. It can hold 40,000 EU, which is a fair bit. It's a nice amount. God, that's about 40 cold, maybe. A little bit more. This 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 doesn't generate electricity in its own right. It takes generated energy and transfers them through wire. And that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about all these things. And how much EU it transfers into it. Now this, see... I oh, don't need to look up those inventory spaces. Now this, it, as you can see, it outputs about 32 EU per tick. Which is a packet, 32. But as you can see, uh, over here... They don't always produce 32 per tick, which means the loss in transfer. So, even though you're using these and thinking, oh yeah, it's it's going to be fine. Yeah, only use these to start off. These are the ones you're going to want. Because from here to here, yeah, it's not that much of a distance, but it's still going to be 99.414% of a chance of getting it right. And this is the... 32 is the amount you're going to want to use for your basic machines, like your macerator, your compressor, which I'll do another video about. This here is 128. There's not, there's a few things that can, a few machines that hold 128, but if you try to power a low voltage machine, which is what this does, the low voltage, if you do a low voltage machine, it's going to go kaboom, because too much energy going into it. Way too much. But on the same way, you want to look at this next machine, what it does. This holds 10 million EU, which is a hell of a lot compared to your first bat box. And this outputs 512 EU per second. Uh, per second per tick. So you're going to want to use this stuff, definitely. And you will be on this state, because this requires a lot of material. A lot. And you're going to be needing not just diamonds, but stuff rare in diamonds at this stage. And... Um, so you're going to be thinking, thinking to yourself, right, say I have one of the, say I have an MFSU, which is what the highest storage rate is. Say I want to use this, but I want to, I want to power one of my smaller machines. Well, that's fine, because all you need for that is a transformer. But the thing is, you can't just go from a, to a low voltage transformer to a machine. You're going to need to go to a medium transformer, and then to a low transformer, to your, whatever what you say say macerator. Uh, where's it gone? Oh, no. Okay, now you're gonna wanna what's well, wrong. Um now you're gonna wanna 
over a glass cable because you're at the stage where resources aren't too much of a problem. You want you want bigger stuff than that now. So you're going to wire this down to here, and down to here, and down to here. But see these sides? They're looking a bit different, aren't they? And they're different for a reason. You're going to need to take a wrench. I always forget which wrench it is because there's a lot of wrenches. I think it's this one. Now what you're going to want to do is you need to like just hook normal. Yeah, that's right. Do it like that. So the one blob goes into three blobs, which makes it go to from high voltage, 512, into this buffer, whatever you want to call it, and out of any of the one single ones, into the others to make it low voltage, which will then go out into here and macerate it properly. I won't do it, I won't do this right now because it'll require a bit of energy setup to get a lot of energy in here, but this does work if you do it properly. So always remember it's the highest voltage going into the three solid, three sided, three dotted side. And to be honest, guys, that's about that's all about all we. Uh, is there is the cover in this? Like, you, I've covered the energy, but uh, of course I will cover what these machines do and how to uh, generate more electricity in the future, in future videos. But apart from that, you you know about wires now and what wires to use at different stages. Gold, never use gold. Copper, use copper when starting. Use this when you're like transferring one one block to the next and then skip this stage, skip these two, and this is for nuclear reactors, which is another way of generating electricity, which is end game, trust me, end game, because they're hardest to make. Now this, yeah, that's what that's for, that's specialised for nuclear reactors technically, and this is the stuff you're going to use, anything, from here, you're just going to jump straight to here pretty much, I've done these in the wrong order, kind of, this is for nuclear reactor, this is like super stuff. Well, uh, anyway, thanks for uh, watching, guys. I'm sure there'll be uh, more v videos on this. Uh, it just depends how much of a response I get. Uh, thank you very much.